I'm Johnny, and it's story time. Okay, so for this week, I want to talk a little bit about narrative structures. And the reason why I want to do this is because I think stories and the way we tell stories to each other and about each other, both in things like books and movies, and also just in our heads, follow a very particular narrative structure. And I think that narrative structure is worth examining because it will tell us a lot about ourselves as people. Now, I'm not going to get all Joseph Campbell monomyth on you. If you want to know more about that, check that over here. Instead, what I want to do is I want to talk about the very, very basic framework of a narrative. So the first thing a story needs is a goal. Now, the goal has two levels to it. The first is really the story of the protagonist. It's defeating the wizard and saving the kingdom. That's the goal of the story. But there is a meta level on top of that, which is... What is the goal of the writer? And there's an interplay there between the writer's goal and the goal of the story. Now, with every goal, there's going to be a consequence if that goal is not reached. The evil wizard just uses his magic to destroy the kingdom, for instance. Now that you've got that central thing there, what you need are a set of requirements. Oh, God. Oh, God. We are not doing this, Grum. And a set of forewarnings. The requirements are the steps that the protagonist must take in order to reach their goal. The forewarnings are the set of events that happen to show that the consequence of not meeting that goal is coming. Now, this gets pretty hierarchical. Like, you might have two or three major requirements. Something like find the battle plans, rescue the princess, and then the big battle at the end. And likewise with the forewarnings. Losing the battle plans, suddenly finding yourself in the evil wizard's castle, the looming army up ahead. And for each one of these items, there may be sub requirements and sub forewarnings. And the final piece of a story puzzle is going to be the costs and the dividends. The costs are things that happen because you're pursuing the goal. Because you tried to get the battle plans to the good guys, you lost your aunt and uncle. The kindly old wizard who helped you out gets killed by the evil wizard. But along with costs, there's also dividends. There's another side of this coin. You learn to be one of the best saber fighters in the galaxy. You learn a funky new magic. That's the six part structure of an of work. And I'm really just scratching the surface here, both in terms of my own knowledge and what I'm presenting to you. I'm finding it highly interesting to look at a story and really examine how these apply to it. And you might say to yourself, well, doesn't that kind of destroy the magic? And like most things where the worry is that you're destroying the magic, it's actually a lot cooler to find out how something works. And storytelling is no different. Now, could you guess the story that I was talking about there in my example? All right, kids, I hope you enjoyed this week's video. And remember, storytelling is fun.